Marpole is located at the southern tip of Vancouver, framed by the mighty Fraser River, 57th Avenue, Ontario Street and Angus Drive. Its unique location on the river and with three bridge connections make it a critical access point, joining Vancouver to the Vancouver International Airport as well as other parts of the Metro Vancouver region. The Marpole area has been occupied for thousands of years by the coastal Salish peoples. Evidence of Musqueam settlements can be found in the remains of the Marpole Midden, which extends from 70th Avenue to the Fraser River. It is commemorated in Marpole Park at 72nd and Cartier with a National Historic Plaque. Non-native settlements began with Fitzgerald and Samuel McCleary, two brothers from Ireland who settled on the Fraser River in 1862. The McCleary Farm is the site of the golf course bearing the family name. Others followed in the 1860s and 70s through the preemption of Crown Land. Modern Marpole occupies much of Garropy's original property. His preemption in 1865 was District Lot 318 between the modern roads of Oak, East Boulevard and 70th Avenue. Harry Eburn purchased an acre of land at the foot of modern-day Hudson Street in 1875 from George Garropy and opened a small store. Ten years later he opened a post office and Eburn Post Office gave the area its name. When the bridge across the Fraser River opened in 1889, Eburn moved store and post office across the river. For some time there were two Eburns. The North Arm Road is cut through the forest by the CPR in 1888 to connect to Vancouver. It is today's Granville Street. In 1892, the municipality of South Vancouver is incorporated. City Hall is at 41st and Fraser. By 1908, differences in how to manage the area created an east-west split and residents west of Camby split and incorporated the municipality of Point Grey. The area began to develop in earnest with the construction of the Canadian Pacific's Vancouver and Lulu Island Railway between Vancouver and Steveston in 1902. The local station was on Hudson Street at Marine Drive. The line was opened to New Westminster in 1909 and in 1912 the Oak Street line was extended to Eburn. Real estate ads of the day drew attention to the ease of travel from Eburn to the cities of Vancouver and New Westminster. The area's business district was firmly established on Hudson Street and Marine Drive with stores, a movie house, churches, banks, along with expanding industry on the river including the Eburn Mill and BC Concrete. The Marpole Bridge from Richmond connected at Hudson. Eburn was renamed Marpole after Richard Marpole, the Canadian Pacific Railway's General Superintendent of the Pacific Division in 1916. David Lloyd George School opens in 1921, replacing the Marpole and Eburn High School, which had started as a one-room school on 70th Avenue. In 1919, the Vancouver General Hospital's Marpole Annex was a major presence in the neighborhood. The expanding waterfront has swallowed up both Cowan's Island and Stewart Island. Residential development continued with a variety of subdivisions being promoted by various real estate men. This haphazard development has resulted in the eclectic street grid of the neighborhood. White Spot opens on Granville in 1928 as the White Spot Barbecue and is a popular destination until it burns in the 1980s. The late 1950s saw rezoning of much of the area below 70th Avenue for apartments replacing many of the original homes. The construction of the Oak Street Bridge kills the business district as traffic now bypasses Marpole. The Arthur Lang Bridge in 1975 completes the destruction of the business district on Hudson with a major intrusion of bridge infrastructure and road reconfiguration. Today, Marpole is home to 24,000 people. With the arrival of the Canada Line, transportation corridors continue to shape Marpole. But what will Marpole look like in five years? In 10? In 20? 
How will transportation and growing development pressures shape the commercial and residential areas of Marpole?